This is a story about one small Australian flycatcher, a willy wagtail, that discovered a way to catch fish. Willy wagtails are found in most habitats, except dense forest, right across the Australian mainland and in the northern half of Tasmania. They're frenetically active little birds that feed exclusively on insects, flushing them from grass and vegetation by flaring their wings and swinging their tails. But this enterprising little wagtail has discovered that it can use the feeding behaviour of the schools of yellow-finned kingfish that cruise around the Sydney Harbour foreshores to tap into a new and highly nutritious food, tiny juvenile fish. Hundreds of millions of these juveniles crowd along the sea walls, where they're easy prey for the kingfish that are typically around half a metre long. When the kingfish attack, the tiddlers often leap out of the water en masse. And that's the wagtail's opportunity. It waits at a vantage point and flies down to hover over the advancing kingfish, waiting for the tiddlers to jump. Kingfish. The willy wagtail isn't the only bird getting in on the act. These silver gulls are following the kingfish, picking up wounded tiddlers or fragments of dead ones, a less classy act than catching them in the air. Here's the wagtail's performance again slowed down a bit more. Watch for the kingfish leaping clear of the water. Definitely a hazard for the wagtail. All this hovering is intensely energy consuming, but there's a big payoff from just one two centimetre fish packed with more protein, calcium and energy rich oil than dozens of the tiny dry insects that are the wagtail's standard fare. You know if he gets his wings he won't be able to fly? Yep. I saw this behaviour on two or three separate days, but it was very hard to capture. The kingfish appeared at random, but the wagtail stayed close to the edge of the water where it could see the fish approach. I reckon it's a remarkable bit of opportunistic adaptation. <laughs>